Welcome back, everyone. Lieutenant Alec Coyle is here with us today. He's the commander of the Lima Post. We're talking a little bit about winter weather, and we, we joke around about it because we've only, I think, in the Lima area had maybe a half inch of snow all year or all, all winter so far. Earlier in the week, we had some slippery conditions, and it kind of morphed into what you were talking about where things kind of started to get slick all of a sudden. It didn't, you know, we didn't necessarily know if that was going to happen. That's when you get the problems, not six days of snow or, you know, clear skies. Yeah, and what... I mean, one of our recommendations is to uh, just plan on weather, winter weather happening at some point. It's going know, to, so yeah. If you if you watch Nathan and get your weather or, or use your phone app, you know, uh, stay on top of it the night before you got to go into work the next day. You know, you're checking to make sure that uh, uh, whether or not the, uh, there's going to be a winter weather, uh, whether that's snow or, or ice or sleet or some kind of mix. Just yeah. just be aware that precipitation could happen or, or a freezing temperature could develop by the time you go to work and so if there's already stuff on the ground some kind of a uh, water on the ground then that could turn into ice yeah you mentioned that before too where you're at work all day things seem fine then all of a sudden you go out and it's a winter wonderland so plan ahead right yeah the idea would be that uh, you know you want to add more time to your commute or or just factor that in before you even start it uh, you know, make sure that uh, whenever you do have any precipitation, but, you know, especially in the, in the winter weather time, that you're increasing following distance and things like that. You know, NHTSA's recommends that, uh, that you do uh, one car length for every 10 miles of speed, okay. and that's their minimum in, on a good day. So at a 55 zone road, you want to be five and a half car lengths, but uh, that's their minimum recommendation. Certainly with winter weather uh, uh, happening, you want to increase that distance, so just keep you know, that sort of thing in mind when you're out there. Somebody said, uh, emailed and said, ask Lieutenant Coyle about when I'm out, if I'm behaving myself, it's icy out, and I've reduced my speed, I'm doing my thing, but then someone comes up and they're impatient, and they're right on my bumper, and they, they want to go around, or do you just maintain, do what, you, do what you're doing and keep going, right? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Be aware and drive defensively. Be aware that they're back there. And so that may be a situation where when you're seeing what's coming up in front of you, and you can make adjustments that, you know, that person that's behind you that's tailgating you, yeah. they'll be able to adjust based because you're doing their uh, work for them by, right. by being extra cautious. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you have any advice for folks? Because I think of these plow drivers who are out, they have such a tough job. They're in the worst conditions. They're the ones cleaning off the road. And then cars sometimes don't behave themselves around them. Any advice for drivers if the plows are in the area? I mean, they have a lot of things going on inside yeah. there, and, and it's not always easy for them to be able to see where the road is, so like a lot of concentration involved in that job, and so uh, and, and they do a good job of trying to uh, avoid drivers that are yeah. impatient or want to get around them, but, uh, you know, look out for them and, uh, uh, you know, do what you can to make their life easier and, and try to be respectful of what you know the tough job that they got to do yeah we always have this fear that we'll slide off the road any advice you would give folks to maybe plan ahead like that's the worst case scenario you don't want to end up in a ditch but if you do maybe bring something with them what they should do from that point on uh, always recommend a, a kit of sorts um you want to make sure that your cars are set up and ready for the winter. Make sure your battery's in good condition. Make sure that you've got coolant in the engine. Make sure that uh, uh, that your tires are in good condition. Sure. That they're in pro they're properly inflated. You know that that they usually tend to deflate. You know uh, once the weather uh, winter weather starts. So keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on the tread depth. Uh, your windshield wiper blades. Make sure they're in good condition. Make sure you got. Uh, the the fluid in your in your reservoir to, to clean your windshield off so so set the car up for success right uh, uh, by itself but also if you if you do end up sliding off you want to have winter weather uh, uh, gear like coats and gloves uh, to be able in the car somewhere um, and the cell phone with you and then uh, if you're if you're going somewhere uh, uh, make sure that somebody knows that you're headed there that way if if uh, you don't if you don't get there when you're right. supposed to they can know to uh, to start looking for you yeah good advice as always lieutenant thank you appreciate Thanks. it thank good you. to see you now going medical news coming up next on noon edition